Let's crack on. Hi guys, what's up? This is Mac from the Wi-Fi Ninjas and today I wanted to show you how to connect to a Juniper switch that is being managed by Mist Dashboard using SSH. Let's crack on. So let's start with my lab topology. This is my switch here in the middle and the switch is being connected to my ESXi server on a LAN interface that is mapped to the Untangle firewall internal interface. So logically, my switch is connected directly to the firewall internal interface. So when I connect my switch there, I would be expecting the firewall to give me my switch an IP address. So let's see what is the configuration of the port that is the internal port on the firewall. This is the dashboard of my untangled firewall. This is my IP address of the firewall 10.10.11.2 on the inside and I do have DHCP enabled there. So this is what I would expect that my new Juniper switch should get. But since I have already configured the switch, I know I'm like cheating a little bit. I have multiple layer free interfaces sitting on it. I will see something different. But if you didn't have it, if you had just a basic configuration, like a switch connected to, to, to the firewall, added to Mist dashboard, and maybe you configured some you know, layer two uh, VLANs and, and ports, trunks, access ports, this kind of stuff. This IP address is what you would have seen there. So assuming that I know what IP address I'm connecting to, I would like to verify that on the dashboard, making sure that my switch is alive. So if you haven't seen our basic configuration video uh, of Juniper switch using this dashboard, go back to the Wi-Fi Ninjas video number eight and we go step by step uh, showing how to manage that switch and push down the basic configuration. So let's go to the Mist dashboard and first of all, we need to configure the SSH password for uh, my switch. So if I go to the organization site configuration and scroll down, you can see there is switch management root password field that we can put our password in to make sure that we are not using a default SSH password. We save this config and it should be automatically pushed down to the switch. And then just to validate the IP address of the switch, I go to the switches tab, I click on my switch and I can see that my switch is 101021.1 because as I said, I have layer free interface and one of them, like the highest up is this one. So that's what I will be using to SSH to my switch. Let's go to the terminal and you can use any, any tool to connect on a MacBook. I'm using terminal on Windows. I was using just Patty or if I wanted to have multi-window Patty, then I would be using something like M remote NG. But here it's fine to just use the terminal. SSH to root as this is the admin login name that you would use on Juniper switches at IP address of the switch 10.10.21.1. And when I hit enter, I should be prompted for a password. And voila, I'm connected to my Juniper switch managed by Miss Dashboard using SSH terminal on my MacBook. That's it. Thank you very much. Ciao.